gonna get through here. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. He won't find it though. Hey guys. Yeah. Can I talk to Slushy? Let me talk to Slushy. What's up, dog? Kringle wants you. Kringle wants to see you. Ah, oh, great, because I want to see him. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him all about our new toy bike lane. Have fun. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. That's a straw sound. Well, what did he think? Uh, who? Kringle, about the toy. Oh, right. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I, I never made it to his compartment. I got caught up in some, uh, some poisoner business along the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse oh. me. <laughs> yeah? Inspect compartment? Now that your secret's out, you won't mind if we snoop through your steamer trunks? Ah, come on, we got nothing to hide. Fair enough. 153.5 steamer trunks, but no chest. A lot of chest nuts, though. Well, have Stay fun. Sprightly. Uh, <laughs> time, time to see how this is going. You're gonna have. Oh, he is vampirized. He has been. Oh my. Yes. God, <laughs> you're a vamp. You've changed. Um, you're looking a little peaked. I know! I have become a vampire! A horrible creature of the night, feared and loathed by all! Ah, cheer up, Jurgen. You were loathed by all before you became a vampire! True. So, uh, the mole girl. Look on the bright side. Surely the mole girl will leave you alone, now you're a vampire. You clearly know nothing about the teenage girls. She thinks I am even more tragically sexy than before! Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, we lied. If you're still looking for the vampire reverse curse, you won't find it here. No, it's too late for that. I was just thinking how this sarcophagus would make a voodoo bed if I could find another place to stash the moldering corpse. Huh. Stay out of the sun. Yo, oh, your concern is so touching. Hmm. Well, Jorgen is not interested in going back to his room, which means we can chest, chest, check his luggage. And we can always put it in your steamer trunk. Right? Right, guys? You, you can put it in the steamer trunk. Steamer trunk. Nobody home. Steamer truck, shall we? Yes, let's shall. Oh no, you don't! Oh, garlic! Ah! Horses. My own protective talismans are keeping me away! <laughs> the most bitter irony of it all! Curses! Curses indeed! We Stop. played you! Get your filthy hands off that toy box! It's not for the likes of you! It's empty! What? The trunk is empty! No! I have failed you, Yog Sagoth! But you will be avenged! How? You know, even for a vampire, he's a weirdo. Well, but that's the lot of them, little buddy. We've cleared every name on the list. Except one. Huh? I must admit, you had me fooled, Sameth. What? Always so concerned about the missing toy box and the way you were always slipping off for a smoke break. I never slipped off Grand for a... Grand Central Station. Now arriving at Grand Central Station, New York, New York. What's that? Baby, baby Amelia, Amelia Earhart? Earhart? What? Yes, baby Amelia Earhart. Little baby Amelia Earhart, not worth bothering with, not good enough to play with the big boys. Oh no, she's just a woman. Well, it appears this insignificant female has been quite a few of the big boys at their own game, and now oh, wait, she's we're cursed. going home with all the toys, while the others are left scratching their heads, wondering what hit them. Grand Central Station! Any last words before we part? Goodbye. Watch your step. Watch your step. Goodbye. Kind of anticlimactic for a boss fight. <laughs> I thought it was exciting. Let's take this toy box and skedaddle. She now. was repulsed got away. An with mature paperweight. Okay, so that's how you get through the two reels Shoot, down. The olden days are fun. How 
come you never take me on transoceanic train trips, Sam? The Zeppelin industry has rendered that mode of transportation obsolete, little buddy. Hmm. Into the tomb. Then the big reward. I can't believe we actually finished two of them. And now we're in the middle. Two doorways. Yeah, yeah, yes. Wait. Yes, we know. It, it's the left one. The, the, you never use the right one. Say. How lucky can you get? You won't be so lucky next time. Just you wait. Well, now that we have more knowledge from the future. Got anything else to say? Say, buddy. Yes? Mole curses? Uh, your curse. So, I hear you throw a mean curse. Well, a father's got to protect his daughter's virtue, doesn't he? The sexo rejecto hex makes for quite the deterrent. You'd be surprised how few boys come tomcatting around here. Huh. But hmm. don't worry. I only use the curse on fellows she has a crush on. And, well, I don't mean to be cruel, but you're hardly her type. Sweet relief! You're spoiling yourself on a game you have to play? <laughs> your daughter. Will you please tell your daughter to stop making indecent proposals to us? My oh. daughter? You? It's flattering, of course, but a clear violation of workplace guidelines on sexual harassment. Stop saying that! You're like the grossest guys I've had the unfortunate displeasure to meet ever! Indulging in a bit of wishful thinking, eh, fellas? No. I'd love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. All right. We have to somehow figure out how to get that thing from. What? Again? Can't you see Charlie and me want to be alone? I need that. That's it. You violated my inner sanctum. Ew. Go get him, Spot. That's a big snake. That is a. That is a. We're in a can of beans! Haha! -ha! A can of nuts for our tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole Well, actually, world. a can of nuts. I, I said beans. Well, Charlie, you finally got me alone. Now's your chance to murmur those three little words. <laughs> gotcha. We're out of here. Oh, huh? that one works, too. You. you. Bye. See how you like Nefertiti's curse. Wait a minute. How does it go? Oh, yeah. Uh, is Max a cow? Max is a cow, isn't he? Maximus! Moo, Maximus, moo! What do we do with the cow? Use bust with cow? Am I cracking up? There must be something I can use with cow. Say something, little buddy. Moo. Whew. He's all right. <sniffs> Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you! You ruined my whole life! So, can we, like, return Max Are you going to give Charlie back, or do you want another case of Nefertiti's Holstein hats? Hmm. Up choice. Time's up. You lose, cowboys. Midtown cowboys? <laughs> okay. Max is a cow again. Maximus. Moo. Moo to the moo 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 moo. Moo. Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Okay, so I can't use Max's powers while he's a cow. Good to know. Charlie, you and I are going to make beautiful music together. 
Here's the secret of the two door two doorways. Let me show you how this two doorways gizmo works. Huh? No, that wasn't me. It was you. There's something you should know, Nefertiti. By the way, Nefertiti, you were adopted. Oh, thank God! Huh? No, that wasn't me. Little girl, you're grounded. Nefertiti, you're grounded for life. I've been grounded for life my whole life. Indeed. Huh? No, that wasn't me. Okay, time to turn around. Nefertiti. Want to say something? I'm running away from home. Bye, Dad. I'm off to Paris to become a courtesan. You are not. <laughs> what? I ain't say anything. I love Samoth and Maximith. Let me help you raid my tomb. Well, okay, I'm, I'm hearing. I, I, you beat me fair and square. Go ahead and take the gummy. I was through with it anyhow. What? I ain't say anything. Let me. <laughs> hey, Dad! How do you reverse the protection spell on the toy box? Well, first you, Nefertiti, not in front of T H E M. What? I ain't say anything. Ah, uh, kind of. I love Samoth and Maximus. I can't hold it inside any longer. I love you, Samoth and Maximus. I want to be your mole. I want to have your puppies. What? There, I said it. Never, Teddy. I didn't. If I hadn't just heard it with my own ears, I'd have never believed. That's it. what happened. But it wasn't. I've got no choice but to blast you fellows with the sexo rejexo hex. Brace yourselves. Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. All right, <laughs> let's just on your daughter. Hello. Right there. Ooh. Perfect. Doorway. One second, guys. Okay, there we go. Just gotta get to the doorway. Run, Samick! Now we have this. We should also be able to get past. You keep your distance. No Tomb Raiders allowed in the burial chamber. Okay, time to try out... Hmm. Sam and Max are my best friends. We let them into the burial chamber. <laughs> no, they aren't. Don't! Uh. I have awakened from the sleep of a thousand years! Eh? Oh, mm, 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 that's nice. <laughs> Ah, I eat little children for breakfast. What? what? I didn't say that. None of that is working. Wanna go on a ride? Whoa! Okay, that didn't work. The Use graves. Of the moles. Say hi to Grandpa! Oh! Well, well, look who dropped in. I got in. it! Ain't you a lively little wiggler? I'm afraid I must be going. Wait! Grandpa's got a story for ya. Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there was a family of adorable bunny rabbits. Oh! Well, now we can get in. We're in. Sarcophagus. Hiya, Sam and Mac. Nice place you got here. The blocks. Thank you. Cool. Bit the heads off. Little scamp got away. 
Come on back out. Baby Grandpa's got lots more stories for you. Vacation sure, brochures? Sure, sure, eh? Planning a little vacation? Yep. Benny and the kid think I could do a little airing out. Been in this tomb so long, I'm starting to grow mold. <laughs> Problem is, there's just so many darn places to visit. Say, where are you boys from? Uh, time and or space. Stugart, Earth, the U.S. of A. Uh, Stu Stugart? You wouldn't have heard of it. A little town called Stuttgart. Stuttgart! You mean to tell me I've been standing here talking to a couple of dang, nab, dead, blasted Stuttgartarians? Uh, What's your language, Gramps? No cursing in the burial chamber. Oh, ho, ho. You ain't experienced cursing till you got a snoot full of my extra spicy bad luck whammy. Uh-oh. Well, now we're unlucky. Call it. Heads or tails? Tails. No, heads. Hell, no, tails. <gasps> you lose. Whoops. Mm, let you slip in, did I? Well, <laughs> I guess you can stay. I get it. Now that we're unlucky, we'll get our heads cut off. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Which means that good old uh, Sam Mac will be cut. Still don't know how the cow works, though. Okay, walk up. Two doorway. I know, Lynch. I know. That is the wrong button, because we want this. And hit. Hey, don't throw things to the doorway. Yeah! Do you want to dull the blades? Thank you. Just what we wanted. Okay. Whee! Uh, was this side silver or gold? I think this is not. It's the other one. That's silver. Silver. And or gold. Gold. So we, we've had these cookies this whole time and used them once for the one thing, and then again and the one thing. Hey guys, 2DS. And we're back. Back again. For the cucumbers cut lengthwise. Just gonna scoot on over here. Excuse us real please. We're just gonna go push a button. And we're free! Hey, we're the meat-based version of us again. Now, to scramble this security spell. Great. They're welded in place. Uh, of course. Whee! Well, the only thing we can do... is finish it. It's a perfectly fine protection spell, but I think we can improve it. Oh, no. Now that's an inscription. Protection not! Simic! What's all the commotion? Did I cast that protection spell, or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, oh no! no I'm giving it another shot. Then give it all the shot you got. Here it comes. Look. And the spell's broken. Sweet. We did it! No moles in sight. Stone Guardian guys, otherwise occupied. Unbreakable spell of protection, broken. Nothing standing between us and that toy box but air. Come on, little buddy, let's go get it. Whoa. And the intro we saw with them fighting has begun. That's it? No, no final embrace, no slow fade, no interminable credit sequence with cheesy pop cover of the title tune? No, it ain't <laughs> over yet, little buddy. One we last. still got the most important reel to go, remember? I think the story's about to come to a head. And uh, speaking of coming to a head, I need to duck out for a minute. 
don't you start the last reel without me. S Sam, where are you going? Max, no! So tell me, Samoth and Maximus, to begin with, how was it you were able to pass did through it. the mouth of the Sphinx? Can of nuts. After we got the can of nuts back from the elves, my little buddy and I squished into it and rode the Sphinx's tongue through the gate. An astounding story, all the more convincing for being implausible. Now do we get our- However, once inside the tomb of Samun Mak, you were faced with many more dangers. He was kind Mighty of like, spells, no, tell me more. traps, bloodthirsty mole men. However, did you manage to beat the odds and secure the devil's toy box? You have a good one, Coxie. Uh, under protection spell. We just did under, we done did it. And also, they weren't many mole men. They were just kind of, uh, there. Cleverly noting that Grandpa Mole took his cues from a hieroglyphic inscription, we turned ourselves into bas-relief tune carvings, shuffled over to the marquee where the inscription was located, and added additional glyphs which had the effect of reversing the spell. And also we got eaten and spit up by an asp! With yep. a strange and compelling, if convoluted, story, but it's the truth. audience, give them a hand for what they've been through! But it's the truth! I feel like he's going to shove us into the ants. Does not end there. I'm told that you two were victims of a brazen daytime heist on the train ride back from Egypt. Can you tell the audience how you managed to thwart the thief and recover the treasure? Uh, we beat a baby. <laughs> the robbery was committed by none other than that irrepressible scamp, baby Amelia Earhart. She almost got away with it, but we were a little too tough for her. A resourceful duo, don't you agree? That's nice. Now, how about that reward? Fear not, my talented little Lagomorph. He's the final villain. You will receive your reward, right? No! Knew it! He's the final villain! Your just reward. My dear Maximus, you have been chosen to play the starring role in the greatest spectacle of the age. The summoning of Yog Sagar. Ah, uh, she saw us coming. Where's Samet? Yog Sagoth, most terrible of the ancient ones, banished from the earthy plane for six long millennia. But you, with your extraordinary psychic uh -oh. gift, you will intone the words to bring him from the realm of darkness into the light. The toys. The hell I will. Oh yes, boy. The hell you will. If you refuse to play your role, a certain friend of yours will meet an unfortunate demise. Sam it! <clears throat> an Many unfortunate ants. demise in a vat of flesh eating ants. Oh Yikes. yeah. But are you sure this role is me? You are the one with the gift. Which reminds me. Hey! Can't have you pulling any funny business. Crappy smart. All right, then. Let's get it over with. Cue up the entrance music. Yog Sagoth, primal prince of chaotic night, descend to us through the writhing wastes of utter darkness. We summon thee with the deathless words from the Book of Abominations. Now you say, Umke Onine, the other race Einfe. What? Uh. Tricky paperweight. Stall for time. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. What's my motivation supposed to be? Abject fear. Right. Uh. We have no powers. Except for the projector. Cookies. I don't think so. Cookies. Uh -uh. Wait. What's the point in that? Cucumber. I don't like people reading when I'm trying to talk to them. Can nice I? Nice atmospheric touch. Can I grab it? Those are some creepy toys. Uh, looks like the counterweight for the moon. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. If I do this, can I? Yeah! And now that it's on fire. Light it! 
Does somebody want some uh, cookies? This is where my skee ball expertise pays off. The power of skee ball compels you. Charlie, am I glad to see? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, ventriloquism. Paperweight. Okay, onion A, the other way's Einfe. Oh. Did I just say that? I guess you're not the one who's supposed to say it. Max? Don't believe the Sam? mustache is real? Go on, give it a chug. Hardy, har, har. Okay, it's not Sam either. Huh. I don't even want to know what that's, that monkey does. I'm K on. Did I just. Uh. Now you say, I'm K on in A, the other way's I'm Fe. Um. Trick paperweight. There he is in the chest. Yogsagoth. Tentacles, glowing red eyes. Ah. Yeah, gotta be him. Shorter than I expected him to be. Let me see. Where? Where? Oh. Look close. Paperweight. Time for you to say the magic words. Um, K. Onyne. The other way's Einfe. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! We ain't dead. Well, that was impressively grotesque. We certainly gave the audience their money's worth, wouldn't you say, folks? There's no one here, is there? What about this thing? Oh, that's right. Can't have the devil's toy box falling into any other villainous hands. Oh, we got Where free. Where should we stash it? Fellas, fellas, I appreciate your thinking of us, but we don't do that old world hocus pocus anymore. I got a nice dry cleaning business, and Nefertiti is going to school for. Dad, I told you, it isn't Nefertiti anymore. It's bubbles. Uh. Sorry, we can't help you, but you see how it is. Yeah, we see how it is. Come on, Maximus. Boy, America sure has changed these guys. I hardly recognize them. Look, Samoth, they even sliced their cucumbers lengthwise. What? <gasps> it is true. Papa, have we fallen so far? We have forgotten our heritage. We have forgotten we are moles. Okay, we'll take the toy chest back. Huzzah! Great. Keep us posted if. But you've got to help us guard it. You will live here in this boiler room with us. There's plenty of space. How about we compromise? Our kids will open an office in the building and help you keep an eye on the chest. We've got kids? Shut up, Maximus. <laughs> it's a deal. Mm, now let's see. We'd better cast that spell of protection to keep it safe. Let me do it, Dad. Stand over there so you don't get zapped by the magic. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh How boy. How does it go again? The Holstein Hex! You're not turning me into no cow! Maximus! No! no! Oh! You know, there's a great basement apartment opening up on 83rd Street. Two bedrooms, built in washer dryer. And that's how they died. The end. That's how they died. Two skeletons, four moldering reels of film, and one buried toy box. A century old story, now forgotten in the sub basement of history. But the past has a disconcerting tendency to claw through the freshly laid sod of the present and wrap its cadaverous fingers around the entrails of the future. 
Max knows the phrase. Well, that took longer than expected. The restroom in the train station was closed, so I had to... Hey! You watched the ending without me, didn't you, you malevolent little fiend? So tell me, what was the big final act twist? Samoth and Maximus dragged underground by sex-crazed anarchist sewer rats? Come why on, is buddy. why Don't is Max not talking? Suspense. Obviously, the story was moving towards some mind-boggling final twist. So what was it? Max? Max, what's wrong with... You. Little buddy? Oh, no. SOMEONE TOOK HIS BRAIN! Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. The ride is about to get twisty. They stole Max's brain! Episode 3. Okay! I didn't expect that! I'm serious, I didn't expect that. Now that, thank you all for joining me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join the series. Until next time, stay classy, internet. Toodles!